Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Now you might have a version of macOS or iOS or iPadOS or perhaps an Android phone that styles the tabs however it wants to based on the themes and colors of your web page. You may not like what it's doing though and you may be wondering, can I change that? The answer is yes. All right, and I'm gonna show you two ways today. One is kind of the basic way and if that's all you need, great. The other one would be for more advanced use cases like switching from dark mode to light mode and back and forth and making sure that that theme color updates dynamically with your CSS variables. There'll be timestamps below and I'll link to some code below that will mimic what we're going to do here, but let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first and easiest thing to do is just to come in here and to add a meta tag and this meta tag has a name of theme-color and then you give it a content and you can add anything you want in here, any color that CSS can use. So for instance, you can come in here and say like FFF, and that would go to a white, and you see it reloads just like that. Or you can add a named color, like black, and save that, and it'll update automatically for you. You could, of course, also add HSL. You can come in here and say like 100, and then like, I don't know, 150%, uh, 25%, and then maybe you do like 0.4, something like that. And again, that would update automatically. Now you do have to be careful that sometimes it seems like if the browser still thinks there's not enough contrast, it might shift that color slightly, but especially in light mode, it seems to pretty much accept whatever you give it. You might be wondering though, okay, well, that's fine and good for the basic use case, but I've got a more advanced use case. Maybe for instance, in your site, you have a dark mode theme and you just say, okay, well, when it switches from dark mode to light mode, I don't really like the color it's picking. I like it for light mode, but not for dark mode. Is there a way to dynamically generate this? Well, you might think you could come in here and add a CSS variable, like, I don't know, uh, text one or something like that, which is one of the variables I have on this site. But if you save it, nothing actually happens. It just keeps using whatever it was using in the past. So it can't use variables directly in here, but you can insert them with JavaScript. Now you can add this as its own scripting file, but what I'm gonna do is just come all the way down this way and I'm gonna add just below the closing body tag here, a script tag. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more space just so you can see what's going on. And I'll zoom in a bit too. We're gonna to write a function and we're gonna call it update meta theme color. And inside here, we wanna do three things. First of all, we wanna grab wherever the, the variables have been declared. So in my case, I've declared them on the root. So I'll just grab the root. Next, let's go ahead and grab the theme color that we want. So what I'll do here is say get computed style, and you use that from some element you've passed in. So you actually have to pass in an element like what we got up above, like root, and then you'll say get property value. So what we're trying to do is get the value of whatever variable we want. In this case, we're gonna say, let's get background two. And then finally, and thirdly, we wanna get that attribute selector for name equals theme dash color, just like that. And we wanna set the attribute on that. We wanna set the content attribute to in back ticks, so we can do a template string here, our theme color, just like that. And when I save, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't actually run the code. So now we need to come down here and say update theme color and manually run it. And now it should update the theme color to match whatever we have. Now, what happens if I switch back to my light mode? Well, you see it actually stays with that because the page hasn't reloaded. And so now it definitely doesn't work. So how can we adjust for the user changing from light mode to dark mode? Well, if you have your CSS set up like I do over this way, where they just shift to preferring color scheme dark and then the root variables update to whatever the dark values happen to be, then the way you would do it is just like this. Window.matchmedia in parentheses here, prefers color scheme colon dark. So whenever it prefers it or doesn't prefer it, whenever there's a change, we wanna to listen to that change. So we'll say the event listener should be change. And when that happens, we're going to update meta theme color and we're just gonna pass reference rather than running it ourselves. Now, if we refresh, obviously it'll already update. But that also means if we switch back and forth between dark mode and light mode, it'll now update automatically as well because it's got an, an event listener listening for the change on that media. Whether you needed the simple version or the more complex version, I hope this was a help to you. Again, there are links in the description. If you have questions, feel free to reach out and I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.